gentleman from Texas yields back. The gentleman from Tennessee is recognized. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Uh, how many years have you known Jim Comey? He was in the U.S. Attorney's Office when I started in 1991 there. So sometime after I started in 1991, I obviously... How many years do you think you all worked in the same same area? Ten, with he eight years, ten years? No, no, no. He left, I think, within a year or two of my arriving to come down to Virginia to work in the U.S. Attorney's Office there. I'd have to go back and try And to then in your back. position at Justice, he was at FBI, so you had... When I became IG, a year later, he became the FBI director. Okay. So you've known him long enough to have an idea about what his reputation for truth and veracity was among other members of his, uh, the Justice Department and the FBI. Is that accurate? Uh, yes. And what was his reputation for truth and veracity? He had a very strong reputation. Uh, in your report, do you ever say at any point that Jim Comey lied? Uh, we do not. Do you know of any time when Jim Comey has lied? Uh, I can't think of any as I sit here. So when President Trump said there's not a bigger a person who's told more lies in the world than Jim Comey, you would disagree with that? Um, I'm not going to answer what other people's views are or think I can only speak to what my interactions with him were Thank my you. capacities. Uh, I know that your report basically said that uh, <coughs> Jim Comey was exceedingly careless in uh, coming forward before the election with his reportage of the renewal of the investigation of Hillary Clinton and the laptop and Anthony Weiner. Uh, but there, there was no malicious intent. Is that accurate? Um, as to Mr. Comey, we didn't find any malicious intent. And what he did could have possibly affected the election. You don't know that it did or didn't. No, it could have, but it could have. And he also could have gone into the Trump-Russia investigation, which could have affected the investigation, and he didn't. Is that correct? When you say go into, I'm sorry. He could have let the public know that there oh. was such an investigation. The only thing I would say is he, he did not do that, right. which was consistent with policy. Uh, some of the attacks were made on your decision not to prosecute or the Justice Department's decision not to prosecute Secretary Clinton, and they stem from the Justice Department and the FBI's interpretation of the legal statute and term gross negligence. The Justice Department and FBI interpreted the statute to require deliberate intent, and they agreed there was simply no evidence in the Clinton case. And your report examined this and stated, we found this interpretation of Section 793, paren F, paren, paren 1, paren, was consistent with the Department's historical approach in prior cases under different leadership, including the 2008 decision not to prosecute former Attorney General Alberto Gonzalez for mishandling classified documents. But Mr. Horowitz, did you find the Department's prosecutors investigating Secretary Clinton considered both the case law and the Department's previous decision to decline the prosecution of Mr. Gonzalez? Um, yes. Can you explain to us a little bit about the decision not to prosecute uh, Alberto Gonzalez and, and how that was similar to or paralleled to Secretary Clinton? Well, I think the issue there, and I'd have to go back and refresh myself on the Gonzalez case, but it was um, the fact that it wasn't being sent to a third party who uh, or classified information was being provided to a third party um, and some of the other factors overlapped with the factors in this matter according to the prosecutor's assessment. The FBI has been referred to uh, in somewhat disparaging terms since this report. Did your report find that the rank and file of the FBI were, were at all uh, guilty of, of bias? Uh, no, not at all. In fact, as we lay out in the conclusion here, they've worked hard to create a strong reputation. And um, as we know, conduct like this creates such uh, harm to that reputation that's been built up that that's why it's in part so important to uh, to address and to avoid having this kind of activity occur. Um, Mr. Chairman Gowdy, my friend, said that the confidence in our uh, system of law enforcement and public prosecutions is important to uh, uh, confidence in our government and the rule of law, and I agree with him. Uh, would a statement to say that the FBI was a den of thieves contribute to the uh, soured climate that we have in this country towards law enforcement and the rule of law? 
you know, Congressman, I'm going to stick to what we've concluded in our report, and others can assess what they think this is. There a den of thieves at the FBI? Um, we, we, in this investigation or any others we've done, we've not identified a den of thieves. I, I thank you for your service and yield back the balance.